How's it going everyone? Today we have the best dumb phones of 2022. It's a little bit of a longer video, so make sure to check the timestamps for a device that you've been looking for. But this is my selection for all of the devices that I have reviewed this past year so that you can figure it out faster which device is best for you. I'm going to start from smartest to most basic. So the smartest, what I call transition devices are pretty much smartphones, but they are in a either a flip phone form factor or something like this, which is essentially a candy bar phone. But they're super smart. They have touch screens. They have all the apps that you need. And I want to start with those because some people sometimes ask if there is a dumb phone that has Spotify and WhatsApp and all of those things because they don't want to leave those things yet. They want a transition device. So let's get started with the list. And that is with the CAT S22 Flip. This device is my work phone, actually. It's sold by T-Mobile here in North America. And if you buy it unlocked from eBay or a third party, then you will be able to use it outside of the United States or also with Verizon here in the United States. And this device has a touchscreen. It has everything that you need. As you see, I'm swiping right there. You can unlock it. You can have as many apps as you want from the Play Store. There's only a couple things that don't work, like Android Auto. But besides that, it's pretty much the same as a smartphone experience, with the difference that being a flip phone, you're not going to be watching a lot of content on this opening up like that, but rather you're going to offload content and very big tasks to your computer instead of your phone. So this is a great transition device. If you are not in the United States and you cannot get it, probably the Xiaomi F22 Pro is going to be your best bet. This device is just released. They're on pre-sale right now and it's essentially the same. It has the Google Play Store. It has all of the smart functionality, but because it is a candy bar phone, it doesn't have the appeal to be watching hours and hours of content. It's a great device and I am hoping to get one very soon. There will be a review on this channel so that you can check it out. But if we can judge it by the Xiaomi F21 Pro from last year, it's going to be an excellent device for this year as well. Now, let's say that you're looking for some functionality. Let's say that you want to get some maps, maybe Spotify and WhatsApp, but you don't want a touch screen. You want something simple. That's why you click on this video. It's the best dome phones, right, of 2022. Well, I have three suggestions for you. One is here in the United States, the Blue Tank Flip. I just reviewed this device about a week and a half ago, and it's a very good device. I've been using it on and off on my testing sim, and it's a very good device. You can install applications like WhatsApp, like Spotify, but in order to make it work, you need a virtual mouse. So you cannot just work it with a touch screen, you need a virtual mouse. So that's an extra barrier that doesn't allow you to use all of the smart apps all the time. But you can still have the communication or maybe music that you need, but in a different way. It's not going to be as easy as the CAT S22 Flip or the Xiaomi F21 or 22 Pro. A similar device for the international market is the Doro 7030. I did a review on this device and I said that it was hard to install the APKs but you can now, I actually have a guide, and for all of these, I'm gonna be making guides on my offline academy. You can find the link below on how to install applications, how to make them work, but you can make these applications work like Spotify, like WhatsApp on the Doro 7030 with the virtual mouse, very similar, and it just takes a couple of extra steps, but it's very, a very good option if you're in Europe. And if you're in Oceania or Australia area, you can get the Opal, 4G Flip. It looks exactly the same as this device, but it has the ability to install applications. This one also has a touch screen, but it's a little bit different. It doesn't have Google Play. It doesn't have all of the applications. You probably have to manually install them. So those are some of the options on the smart end. Very smart, very easy to use transition devices. For those of you that are looking for a basic phone form factor, but you still want to retain some of those conveniences from the smartphone world. Now, let's move into more simple devices. So this is middle of the road devices. Uh, here I have the Nokia 2760. This is a KaiOS device. KaiOS is not Android. It's a web-based, essentially operating system based on Firefox. And it does have some applications like a podcast player, like an FM radio, and I believe a Twitter client or something like that. But it doesn't have all of the big players like WhatsApp, or Facebook, you can still access them on a web browser, but not as an app. 
So it's not super convenient. It doesn't have all the apps that you need, but it has reliability. Now, KaiOS on this device, the 2760 or any KaiOS 3.0 to 3.1 device is a good option. They're more reliable. They have good call quality. And I personally enjoy using this device for everything that I needed. It does not have a camera, but it's not the most amazing, but it does get the job done for basic functionality, calls, text, and maybe a podcast or two, maybe music, connecting it to Bluetooth, but no more than that. Now we have my favorite device, my personal choice for a lot of dumb phones. When somebody asks me is the light phone too. I've been using this device for almost three years now and I do not regret it. I really enjoy this device. It, the team updates it on the regular. They're very good at communicating. They have maps, they have music, they have podcasts, and it just overalls is a very good design with the e-ink. I personally enjoy it. It's not for everybody, but it's a very good option and they continue to improve it. There is also a update that is about to come on the Light Phone 2 that's going to make it way better than before. So that is an option for those of you looking for a more simple, not a lot of apps, just the basics, just tools. The Light Phone 2 is a phone for you. Now we're getting to even more basic and that is the Sunbeam F1. So this one is called the Opal 4G Flip in Australia, but here in North America is the Sunbeam F1. It's essentially the same device but this one, you cannot install applications. You have maps and then you have a calendar. So you have a couple of tools, very useful features. I have a review on this device. It's actually a very good device. And you have calls, text messages. You can actually unlock this device and probably use it in Canada and maybe a couple of other regions here in North America, but it is not optimized for global use. If you're looking for a similar device, probably get the Opal 4G Flip if you can from Australia, which will have more bands for global compatibility. But this device is actually very nice to use. The company stands behind it. Very good user interface, very easy to use. I've enjoyed my time testing this device and I can definitely call it a very good simple phone that works without any issues. Now, I wanna mention that up to now, all of the phones I have mentioned have group text messages, good call quality, and of course, differing battery life. So anything between one, two, and probably three days for some of these devices that I have been mentioning, but very good devices overall. I've enjoyed using all of them and I can probably daily drive any of these devices any day. Now, there is three more that I wanna share with you and they're getting even more basic. Now, I say that they're getting more basic because these devices cannot do group text messaging, or they don't have a lot of the conveniences that these other ones that I have been mentioning. They may not have a music player, or it may not work the best way. You may have some reliability issues. And the first one is the Punked MP02. Now, this device is also another very minimal and very nicely designed device. I've enjoyed using the Punked MP02, and I think it's an excellent device. However, it does have some lacking features. Like I said, it does not have group text messaging. It does not have music. What it does have, if you're concerned about privacy, anonymity, or security, it does have Signal via an application called Pigeon. Now, the caveat with this device is that it sometimes goes off and it doesn't connect to Signal. So they have reported a couple of outages throughout the past year. They promptly fixed them, but not every user is happy with their Punk MP02 experience. And that can be said for the other devices, but I have noticed an uptick of complaints, especially around this device, because it doesn't have certain features that may be necessary for your personal user case scenario. Now, if you only communicate through Signal and you want to use a device that is globally compatible, then definitely I recommend the Punk MP02, a very, very good device. Now, the last two are getting a little bit more frustrating and this is the Nokia line of devices. I share with you the Nokia 2760. That one is based on KaiOS, but this time around, I'm sharing the Nokia 225 4G. You can also replace here Nokia 110 4G, 105 4G, 220 4G, or the upcoming 8210 4G or 57 Express Music. They all have the same operating system, which is based on 
uh, RTOS is based on Thread X, and essentially what they are running is a very basic operating system. It only has calls, text messages, it has a calendar, maybe a game here or two, but the problem is that a lot of these do not have compatibility everywhere. So text messages may not be delivered on the right timestamp, so you may have a little bit more difficulty getting through your conversations. Call quality is good, but again, it's a more frustrating experience, but some people make it work there. Go to the forums, make sure to check them out on Reddit. The dumb phone subreddit has a lot of people that have make it work with their lifestyle. And of course it has an FM radio. It does have a couple of things here and there, but this line of devices, they're reliable. They still can make phone calls, text messages. It's just going to be a very basic experience. And of course you get what you pay for. These are the cheaper devices going from $50 all the way down to $10, $15, depending on where you find them. Last but not least is a device that I recommend with a caveat. This device is still a lot, needs a lot of testing. It needs a lot of updates and it can work maybe for some of you, but you need a lot of patience. And that is the Mudita Pure. The Mudita Pure is $369. It's a very nice device. It has an e-ink screen. It's actually a very good device, in my opinion, from a hardware perspective, but the software is still not there. Sadly, the Mudita Pure still drops a lot of calls. It does have issues with certain carriers and providers. You can check out the feedback on their forum at forum.mudita.com, and you can see a lot of people having frustrations with the device. It does, is not the most reliable, and I include it here because of the promise that it may have, but not necessarily for you to buy it today. My recommendation for this device is only get it if you're willing to test heavily what network works in your area and if you're willing to be patient. Now, those are my recommendations for the best dumb phone so far in 2022. If you have any questions about any of these devices or you wanna check out guides, make sure to go to my offline academy or comment on this YouTube video and also check out the dumb phone subreddit or the dumb phone finder. The Dome Phone Finder has the availability to filter through your needs and find your perfect device. Thank you for watching this video. The Dome Phone Awards, which I give at the end of the year, will also come at the end of December. But for now, these are the best Dome Phones for 2022. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.